All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fruit Basket Season 2, Episode 10. I am looking forward to this episode. don't really have anything to say before the beginning. I feel like I might have actually had something to say before the beginning. <laughs> uh, I'll check it for the intro. Anyway, let's grind into the episode right now. Oh, we're doing fireworks and stuff. This is going to be so fun. Mobiji, where did you get the money? H hang on, are they let a kid buy fireworks? What the fuck? <laughs> you might have just heard me in the background though, twice. Oh, we're going, they're leaving. Yeah. 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 At this point, she's like... Oh! <laughs> well, yeah, I'm always tired of my videos. <laughs> yeah. That was an awesome trip. She's probably thinking at this point, like, why I have just not seen Akito yet. Too much happiness. Something bad's gonna happen. Well, not really happiness. Like, a lapse episode. Last episode that was just a bit... Happy but sad. But hey, if, if that isn't the general trend on the show, I don't know what it's. Uh, so what did I have to say about... What did I have to say? One of the things was... Once again, thank you to Shmuel in the comment section on my last videos. Uh, he they said that it was not Kyo's mother. That I should have known that, obviously. Um, that we've seen her before. We saw her again this episode to while he was talking to Akito. Yes, we did, actually. Uh, I look back at that afterwards, I think. Um, she doesn't have orange hair, so it was Kyoko, Toru's mother. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, what's the connection between Kyoko and Toru? Not Kyoko and Toru, what the fuck? Kyoko and Kyo. Um, I don't know. Uh, and yeah, thank, thank you everybody else in the my Fruit, Basket, Fruit Baskets comment sections, as per usual. Giving info about stuff that I've obviously forgotten or missed, or giving your opinion in the episode, stuff like that. It's nice to read through whenever, when, after I upload. So, I appreciate it. Keep coming. Literally, on all my videos, I always, I'm always like, why is this like this? And then someone answers the question, I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I appreciate anybody who gives me info about stuff I don't know. That... There we go. Yeah, also, if you were uh, just here for my Fruit Basket reactions, you see the white banner on screen that was also on the screen in the last episode. If you didn't check the comment, the uh, description, it's just for some reason, well, obviously because I've expanded the size of the camera, the video area for the anime on the video. Yeah. But um yeah. White banner is because of uh just the last episode it got taken down the first attempt for copyright, so I had to re upload it. So I'm just gonna keep the white banner there for now. I think I explained it in my uh Tower of God video this week.
<laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, is he so cute as he is? <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Because uh -huh. your hold on people's falling apart. I love it. Renza. Hmm. Who? Do we know who Ransan is? How did you buy fireworks? Are you way too young? What?
Yeah, fuck you. So if he put a hand on terror, I'd fight him myself. Don't let him put his weird hands on you, Teru. Mamiji, Akito is not going to have any effect on Teru. This guy has no redeeming arc. I don't care if there is a redeeming arc. He has no redeeming arc. He is literal scum. Shut up, Akita. No, he's not the rooster. A god? The god? What kind of god? He scratched her face, that prick. Scratched it just by stroking his fingers across it.
Oh, I was wondering where Mermaid you went. What? When did you get there? You don't have to say sorry, my Mermaid. The fact that Mermaid Jean, everyone has to take that because they want to protect Teru. Oof. Oof. Bro, you should have just let, them, let Akito have it. I'd love to see Kyo just smack the hell out of him. <sighs> this is not how I wanted to go, how I want Toru to meet in Akito to go. <laughs> oh, two bees, two peas. <laughs> oh. Maybe she's so strong for someone who's so young. Oh, these weird things. I've only ever seen these in anime. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. He's so good to him. Oh, itchy arm. Itchy arm. Oh, that's good. Terror, it's such a good mom. Delinquent. <laughs> it's probably like a massive rocket. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it does, I just want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it do it <laughs> don't try this at home yes don't try this at home oh I wonder why hey, not getting involved alright is she going to get involved this season I don't know Yeah. Of course you do, Tara. Because that's just you.
Yeah, and who's this because of? Who has changed your whole family's mood and how you act with each other? So you think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Tyra's gonna make sure that this never ever stops. Oh, they're only little fireworks. No, oh. I think I'm starting to see what Shigure's plan is with his whole it's... I don't know what the word is it's um can't really we can't really place what his plan is right now and he seems to be trying to get in with Akito in a sense but it's I think it's started. <laughs> I think he knows that Toru is what can break the curse of this family. I think. So he's kind of just going along with it, but also setting it up to be how it is. I think. Oh boy, this episode. Akito, my god, he's wow, just a stars, he's a he's a god. I don't know if that truly means he's a god or he's just a god to them. He's someone who, like you said, can con contains their souls or constrains their souls. Again, this is something that could just be explained to me in the comment section if it's not a spoiler. I don't mind. But, um, yeah, wow. I feel like, I always thought like he was a bit too much to be a Zodiac. Like everybody's kind of like listened to him. It never really clicked the idea of him being their god. But I can see it now. Doesn't give him the excuse to be how he is. And I wonder how that works with the Zodiacs. I wonder if Akito ages the same way as a human, if the god changes every generation kind of thing, etc. Or whatever, I don't know. Not generation, but, you know, every life cycle of Zodiacs, basically. So, you know, like a hundred years. <sighs> but wow. Doesn't excuse for his behavior, though. Akito, it, I'm sure it doesn't say that he's supposed to be like that as a god to them. I think. I hope, I'd hope so. I still think he goes overboard and he's just... I wanted to smack the hell out of him for how he was treating Toru, especially putting his hands on her. Disgusting. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> Good episode. It's hard. Not hard to watch, but you know what I mean. Just kind of like deep and emotional, but like, damn. Good episode though. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.